Hey guys, it's Ben here, and I've got a Modern Warfare 2 gameplay for you today, guys, on Team Deathmatch on Afghan. Now, let's see what I'm using. I'm using the Scar H Silenced with Scavenger, Ninja, and Stopping Power. That's it. I don't know what my secondary is. I think it's a Spaz 12. Let's, let's go with Spaz 12, okay? Anyway, so this gameplay is one of my, I wouldn't say Russian, and I'd say I wouldn't say camping either. It's more of a mixture of, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's a mixture of both, really. It's, I'm trying to run in and get a fast team deathmatch. It, it's what it is, and I really do catch some people off guard. It's on a ground war gameplay, so there's a lot of people. And I'm running the kill streaks, UAV, counter UAV, and I'm running the streak, Harrier. Harrier is such a useful streak, I actually use that a lot. The airstrike comes in, gets me a few kills, and it really helps out on ground war. Then the Harrier stays up in the air and gets lots of kills, and it gets lots of kills in this gameplay, as you can see. I actually pick up the M4A1 um, in a minute, well, not in a minute, and I start raping with that, because basically I run out of ammo with the Scar H, because you know the Scar H has very... It doesn't have a small ammo capacity when you've got Scavenger, per se, but it's got an a yeah, ammo capacity, as in how many bullets it holds. So, yeah, I'm just trying to pick up quite a few people, and I'm trying to figure out where the spawns are, because it's team deathmatch, I mean, it's not like domination. Domination, you, if, say, if you've got A and B flag, they're definitely going to spawn at C flag, unless you've got them in some kind of spawn trap, and then the spawn swaps, so they'd say swap to A then, or they just spawn around B area, and then they start capturing the flags. If you capture all three flags, as you guys know, they'll probably end up spawning everywhere, in every different direction, and then actually you'll end up getting dominated, which... It doesn't normally happen to me, but it sometimes happens to me, and it is annoying, so there you go. So anyway, yeah, um, th this gameplay in particular, is uh, it was a fast gameplay, and it was really fun to do as well. I mean, it was only about four minutes long, and we totally annihilated, I'll tell you that much there. We annihilated them to hell, <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Now, why don't I run Predator, you might ask? Well, it's nice just to have a UAV, so you see what they're doing. Counter UAV totally blocks their view of vision, so you can use guns that don't use, um, for example, you know, uh, a silencer, which, you know, is all well and dandy. I mean, look, I pick up the M4A1 here and I start doing some good work with this, and they're all coming around the corner like, I don't know, pests, like, you know, and uh, there's loads of them, but I try my best to hold them off, and it's a bloody good gameplay. I mean, I get the Harriers, I call them in, they get a decent amount of kills, and um, it's just nice in general. So, the Scar H is, used to be... Well, if not, one of my favourite guns on Modern Warfare 2. Um, it's really accurate. I used to use it quite a bit. I used to use it with Red Dot quite a lot. But I found that Silencer can be quite useful now. Well, I was just trying it out with the Silencer anyway. Just to try and get a gameplay of it. And as you can see, I'm using the M4A1 at the moment. Because I picked it up. And the Scar H... I wouldn't say a Scar H is what I was trying to fulfil and do. I was trying to rush the enemy spawn. And I was trying to take out a lot of opposition. If you want to do that with a Scar H, I recommend you put Slot of Hand on, mainly because Scavenger, yes, you'll keep up your bullets, and yes, you will be able to take out a lot of opposition. Reloading time, big factor here. When I was up there, I was lucky enough to have a nice, decent amount of cover, but they could still flank me, come around with Lightweight Marathon Commando, you know, life, knife lunge me, and, you know, that, that, that's just what'll happen. But then you think about, you know, other situations where if you've got Slot of Hand on, quick reload, when they're trying to come around the corner, shoot them down. You know, when they're over there, shoot them down, reload, shoot the next lot that are coming around. You know, Slight Van can be used in so many different ways. Now, I think, yeah, on World of War on COD 4, you used to have to have Slight of Hand, and you used to have to have Bandolier, which is the same as Scavenger, which I talked about in my past video. And, um, so basically, you could reload fast, you'd have a nice amount of clip, and if, if you've got a powerful enough weapon, because, you know, the stopping power and juggernaut you're fighting against, um, and you've not got stopping power and you've got slight of hand, so um, it would be a big challenge. But if you've got a powerful enough gun, if you if you know what you're doing, maybe if you've got a little bit of cover, you know, just to help you a little bit more, and um, you know, you can shoot them down. And um, I don't know, I don't know really, I don't really have a good example of a good gun. I mean, okay, for example, you could use the MP5 on COD 4. I could say the MP40 on World of War, but that's a bit overpowered. But you know. Anyway, guys, you know, this was a. I hope you've enjoyed the gameplay anyway. Me rambling on about different things about Slight of Hand and Scavenger. I know it's a bit plain and boring, but there you go, there you have it. And I um, hope you guys have enjoyed this commentary. If you have, can you please give me a thumbs up? This helps me out so much. And you know what? I'll see you guys tomorrow with another commentary. Have a nice day, guys, and peace out.